What is up everybody, Grant the Mountain Bike Noob here and today I'm going to show you how to put hydraulic fluid or mineral oil in your brakes to top them off, make sure they're working nice and properly. Alright, enough talk, let's get into it. Alright, so first things first, easiest way to tell you need more hydraulic fluid is you pull the brake lever. Look at that, that's way too far. Of course you can adjust your brake lever right here as well. But this is clearly too far and if i hold it you can even see the bike it's not even working as a brake it's just rolling forward anyway whereas if you compare that to the other one actually pulls and stops how it should be so that is a good indicator that you need more brake fluid also the reason this happens a lot is because either it's just you know old some of it evaporated a little leaked out or the biggest thing that i've noticed is when you take one of your wheels off of your bike and then let's say you store it travel whatever you do with it and if you accidentally hit the brake lever as the wheels are off there's no actual disc brake to stop the calipers from squeezing all the way so what happens is they squeeze together too far and then the actual hydraulic fluid leaks out behind them so that's a pretty big noticeable way that that that's why this happened actually i put it in my friend's car accidentally squeezed the brake and boom what do you know now i got to refill it but all right guys enough talk to show you how to do it all right and what you're going to actually need to do this it's just a kit. I got mine on Amazon. Uh, super cheap. It just comes with a syringe, so that way you could bleed them all the way through. I'm not going to show you that in this video, but that's another way to do it. A little harder, in my opinion, so I'm just going to do it the easy way. Your oil funnel, mineral oil, and then a few things on the back that I'll never use. So anyway, but two most important things in this are actually the oil funnel and the mineral oil. That's all I'm going to use today, so I'll show you how to do that, make it nice and easy. All right, so I'm doing the rear brake. So the first thing you want to do to start this process is there are going to be a bunch of bubbles in the line, right, because it's not solid through. So you actually want to do it, everything you can to get the bubbles to the top up here near the actual brake. So I like to do just to start it off, just for funsies, give it one of these, a little bounce. Also just fun anyway, so like, you know, can't really go wrong. Try and get the, all the bubbles at the top, use gravity, physics, all that good stuff. All right, put it back down, all right, move on to step two. All right, now you're gonna take your hex wrench unscrew right here so you can turn the actual brake up so put it flat as level as you can bust out your level level that bad boy i'm just kidding don't do that that's unnecessary anyway just level it as flat as it you know you think it's flat tighten it back down oh right i'm gonna go with the right there that looks nice right yeah yeah that's flat oh yeah all right so now what you're gonna do take your hex wrench again you need a much smaller bad boy Unscrew right here, this little top. Oh, too small. What do you know? Let's try a bigger one. Too big. What? Come on, man. Give me that in between. Oh, yeah. There we go. So, unscrew right here. This is actually your reservoir where all the fluid sits. Unscrew this. And very important note. Oh. Don't drop it. That's a, another important note. All right. So, important note. This bad boy. You can see, oh, we're getting real close right there. All right, so that little washer up here, do not lose that washer. Because if you lose that washer, then, well, that boy's gonna leak forever, you're not gonna like that. So make sure you don't lose that washer, put this bad boy aside. All right, so now that you're done with that, you pull out the two most important things in your kit. Right here is oil funnel, funnel, ooh, funnel, with an oil stopper in it. You can pop that out, I'll show you what that's for in a sec. And you got your mineral oil. The only two things you really need from the pack, in my opinion, but you know. So, Everyone get whatever you need. And then what you do is screw this bad boy right in here. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Nice and snug, beautiful. You take this little bad boy out. You'll see what this is for in a minute. You get your mineral oil and you squeeze her in. All right, we're gonna get that nice close-up so you can see what I'm actually talking about here. So you squeeze her in, do do do. You don't need a ton at first, it's gonna go down. But, all right, see, so now what happens? If you squeeze the brake lever, oh, pack it up, yep, watch. Ooh, bubbles, look at that. So what those little bubbles are, that's the gaps in your hydraulics, and that's the reason this ain't squeezing so hot. Just keep squeezing away. These bubbles will keep coming out, and you might need to fill a little more in there, depending on how empty your actual brakes are. Ah, that's just some fun stuff right there. Going for that speed round. Oh, I can feel it getting better already. Look at that. It's only going to there before it was touching the whole handlebar. All right, as you can see, it's a little dirty in there. It's just the old stuff coming out. If you squeeze, I still a few more little bubbles. But as you can see, look how much tighter that is, how it's supposed to be. Feels good. 
So once all the bubbles stop coming out, that's when you can go on to the next step. Oops, next step. Remember I said, take that little thing out. Well, here's that little thing coming in when you need it. So there's still a little bit of extra in there, as you can see right there, the dark. So what you do is you push this stopper down in it, and I'll clog that little hole. There we go. And now when you unscrew it, in theory, it should not leak because that little stopper stopped all from coming out. Yep, there we go. Cool, nice and clean. So you can set this aside. I just spilled it. <laughs> Whoops. Wasn't me. All right, anyway. All right, set that aside. Definitely didn't spill it. I definitely didn't just do that. Take a little paper towel, wipe her off. You got your little piece right here with, remember, the washer's on there. Perfect, that's what we need. Oh, focus, there it is. All right, let's put this bad boy back on. Do -do -do. Might have a little tiny overflow with this action. Don't tip the bike over. All right, nice and snug. Looking good, wipe her off. Looking good. All right, last thing to do, take your hex wrench, loosen this up, put her back to where you like it. Probably like there-ish, sure, we'll go with it. Tighten her back up, there we go, ready to go. All right, everyone, hope that helped. Made it nice and simple, pretty easy process, doesn't take too much time at all. You're good to go now. Get back out there on the trails. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Appreciate it. Like and subscribe. Really appreciate you guys. Thanks for watching. And as always, have a good one. There you go. Oh, yeah, there it is. Oh, those bubbles. That's what we like to see.